You know how much I love neutral eyeshadows, so I'm going to show you how to achieve a really classic and soft neutral look that's appropriate for really any occasion. So since I already have my base on, I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow primer and just apply that all over my lids and up to my crease. And to achieve this look, I'm going to be using the brand new Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar, which is perfect for a neutral look like this. So first up, I'm taking my big fluffy blending brush by Morphe and dipping into mousse, and this is just a really light transition color, and I'm just working that into my crease. Next up, I'm taking a smaller and more dense brush, and I'm going to dip into Rum Raisin, and this is still sort of in that transition family. It's a medium shimmery color, so I'm just going to apply this at the very inner corner of my eye and sort of blend into the crease, as well as the outer corner blending into the crease. Alright, now getting into the darker colors, I'm taking a tapered fluffy brush and dipping into Cocoa Chili, and this is just a nice brown semi-shimmery color, it's not too intense, and I'm just focusing this on the outer corner and blending into my crease. And now just to eliminate any lines and make everything look nice and blended, I'm taking a blending brush and using peanut butter just to blend out the edges and blend upward toward my brow bone. This is going to give me a little bit of extra warmth too with that slightly orange tone. Alright, now the fun part. This is pretty much my favorite color in the whole palette. It's called Bon Bon, and it's a really soft, shimmery rose gold color. So I'm actually applying this wet to my lids just to really bring out that gorgeous rose gold shade. So I'm concentrating this at my lids and just sort of blending it a little bit with the darker colors. And now I'm taking Butter Pecan, which is the lightest shimmery color, and using this wet again just to really highlight the center of my lids. You know this is something I do a lot, and it just really makes your eyes pop. And now with a smudge brush, I'm going back into Cocoa Chili and just running this along my bottom lash line. Really, I don't want anything too intense. I just want a little bit of definition and warmth. That's really what I did with the whole look. If you notice, all I really did was just kind of contour my eyelids the same way I contour my face. So now I'm taking a blending brush and just blending that out so it looks even softer. And now going back into Bon Bon, I just want to add a little bit of this beautiful color to the bottom lash line as well. Alright, time for the eyeliner. I'm taking a dark brown gel liner and applying just with your standard angled liner brush. And I'm not going to make this too perfect. Um, I do have my smudge brush handy, so I'm going to take that and before the liner sets, I'm just going to go through and smudge it out a little bit just to make it look a little bit softer. You guys know I'm not like a huge fan of liner, so this is sort of what I do most of the time. So I'm just going to go through and darken up my bottom lash line as well. Alright, now I'm going to apply mascara to my top and bottom lashes, and because recently I had lash extensions, my lashes are looking a little bit sparse now, so because of that, I'm going to go through and add some individual lashes just to kind of make this look a little bit more dramatic. And I'm going through and adding them just in the spaces where the lashes look a little bit more sparse, and really I'm just adding like three or four on each side. And of course, you know I have to make the brows look nice and polished, so I'm going through with my Hourglass Brow Pencil and just very, very lightly filling in anything that looks like it's missing. <laughs> okay. 
All right, time for the lips. I love this combo. The pencil that I'm using is the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. It really is the perfect nude shade, and it's got a nice warmth to it for the colder months. So I'm gonna go through and line my lips with this and just kind of contour my lips. And then I'm gonna go over it with the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Kate Lipstick, which is probably the most beautiful color in the whole collection. All right, so I told you guys I had my base on, but I do not have my contour or my blush done. So of course I'm gonna take my favorite bronzer by Too Faced, it's the Chocolate Soleil. And for this look, I'm just going to go through and very lightly contour my cheekbones and just a little bit at my hairline, nothing too intense. And for my blush, I'm just dusting on a very neutral shade by Charlotte Tilbury. And for this look, I do want to highlight just a little bit. So I'm taking this new highlighter by Dose of Colors. It's just a nice champagne shade. And just applying that to the tops of my cheekbones and a little bit at my forehead as well. And that is it for this simple and classic neutral look. This is a look that I go to for a lot of different occasions. So it is one of my favorites and I hope it's one of your favorites as well. If it is, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. Love you guys, I'll see you soon.